If you're a person over 40, your priorities have probably changed a bit, and you no longer want to spend a lot of time working out every day like you used to. You simply want to be able to be healthy and fit, and since you don't have a lot of time, you'd rather make the most of the workouts you do. But, did you know that there are certain exercises that you can still do as normal, and you can still get exactly the same, even better results while spending less time? Number 1. Bench Presses An article published in the Journal of Medicine found that workout routines that included only the bench press or any variation thereof seemed to be adequate enough to stimulate overall chest development. Because bench press inclines can be helpful, research proved that the bench press variation will give you more benefits to your body. Not only is it great for hitting all the fibers, but it causes more deltoid activation that most people don't know about. When exercising, be sure to keep all three points of contact, namely your glutes, the back of your head, and all of your feet firmly planted on the bench and on the floor, respectively. Number 2. Back Row that friendly compound movement targets all of your upper body muscles and is also the best exercise for applying load across the entire back musculature. On top of that, since each repetition starts from a deadlift, the momentum takes the equation out of the equation, which means it reduces the risk of injury. That exercise acts as a hybrid between a barbell row and a chest-supported row, as the arms are in a greater degree of shoulder flexion when performing a row in a feathered position. If you're wondering what muscles this exercise works, you should know that it works the rear deltoids and biceps, the erectors of the spine. The biggest benefit you find with the exercise, compared to traditional barbell rowing, is that you put less strain on your lower back. If you like the video, Feel free to subscribe to the channel and don't forget at the end of the video the super important summary. Number 3. Barbell Back Squat If you want a great set of legs, you have to do some sort of squat period. Data shows that she elicits extremely high muscle activation throughout the entire lower body, from the quads and glutes, and even the calves. It's the depth. It seems the deeper you go, the more leg activation you get research comparing squats shallow versus deep squats, shows a direct correlation or benefit between leg muscle activation and squat depth. So we recommend going as low as possible before experiencing discomfort. Remember it doesn't matter how old you are. The same principles apply if you progressively overload any muscle over time. On the other hand, we must also maintain a high lifestyle. That means resting after training getting seven to nine hours of sleep a night, eating a sufficient amount of protein, and getting enough calories to support your goals. It's important to take it slow. Starting to work out after 30 is easier than it sounds. The most important thing before starting to do sport is to visit the doctor to make us a good general review and make sure that our state of health is adequate to do physical exercise. And if his answer is that you can exercise, it is best to start slowly. That's all in today's video. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel by activating the notification bell so you don't miss more content like this. See you in the next video.